Hi everyone, I'm Becca, and this is Kelsey. Today we're going to build a mini landfill so we can learn how landfills work and how they affect the environment. The supplies you will need to build your mini landfill are some newspapers, one pair of scissors, one sharp knife or pointed screwdriver, one two liter plastic bottle, one small piece of clay, one piece of plastic, like from a sandwich bag or some saran wrap, one spray bottle with water, and a bit of food coloring or Kool-Aid drink mix. One bag of soil, or a tub of soil in our case. One cup for scooping the soil. One container of saved food trimmings. And one spoon for scooping food trimmings. Now let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is lay some newspapers out on our table because this activity can get a little messy. We're going to use our scissors to cut the two liter bottle in half. You want to cut it right where the narrow part at the top meets the wider part in the middle. Cut it clean in half. In this case we already cut ours so we don't need to do that. Now we're going to use our pointed screwdriver to poke holes in the cap of the two liter. Take the cap off, lay the cap face down on the table and push hard. Poke five or six holes in the cap far enough away from each other so that they don't create one big hole. Then you can screw the cap back onto the top of the two liter. We already poked our holes, and if you need an adult to help you, please ask. Then we're going to take a small piece of clay and squish it into the inside of the bottle cap. Try to cover all the holes we just made in the cap. Next, we're going to stick the square piece of plastic inside the bottle cap on top of the clay. Really press it in there. Now we're going to put the top half of the 2 liter bottle upside down inside the bottom half of the 2 liter, like so. Now we have our landfill. The top part of the 2 liter is the landfill and the bottom part is the groundwater. Groundwater is under the soil and feeds into rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds. We'll learn more about that later. Now we're going to use our spoon to scoop a small amount of food waste from the food scrap bin into the landfill. This is symbolizing the food waste in a landfill. Landfills have lots of other wastes too, but today we are only talking about food waste. Next, we are going to cover our food waste with soil, because that's what landfills do. We cover our trash with soil so it doesn't stink as bad for people who live near landfills. But what else do you think happens when we cover the food with soil? We cover the food waste and other trash with soil. We prevent oxygen from getting to the trash. This creates an anaerobic environment. Anaerobic means without oxygen. Organic trash, or trash from nature, like food waste and yard waste, is eventually broken down by tiny microorganisms like bacteria, so it's not sitting around forever. But this anaerobic environment is only fit for bacteria that don't need oxygen to breathe. If we were bacteria living in a landfill, we wouldn't breathe oxygen. We would be so tiny that you couldn't see us. We would eat the food waste in the landfill and release methane into the atmosphere as we ate. Methane is a gas, like oxygen or carbon dioxide, so we wouldn't actually be able to see it. Methane is a special kind of gas called a greenhouse gas. Have you ever been in a greenhouse? We're in one now. Greenhouses are used to keep plants warm, even in the winter. The glass walls and ceiling keep the air warmed by the sun trapped inside. And since the earth acts like one big greenhouse, methane and other greenhouse gases would stay trapped up in the atmosphere, making the earth warm. That global warming melts ice at the North and South Poles, changes climates, makes water more acidic, and makes storms more extreme. Another problem with food waste is leachate. Leachate is the polluted water that comes from the trash that holds moisture, like food waste. Food waste has a lot of moisture. Think of a rotten tomato. Would that tomato be juicy or dry? Definitely juicy, but gross. That moisture runs through the landfill, collecting more pollution as it goes. The clay and plastic at the bottom of the landfill protects the groundwater from most of the leachate. Most of the leachate is collected by pipes and taken to a collection pond to be cleaned and treated. But some of the leachate sometimes escapes from the pipes and gets through the clay and plastic and into the groundwater. Mix your Kool-Aid and food coloring with your water and your spray bottle. This is your leachate. Now spray the water on your landfill until it is soaking wet. See if any leachate gets into your groundwater. There's definitely a tiny bit of leachate entering the groundwater. 
Do you think that leachate is good or bad for water quality? It's definitely bad. Leachate carries pollution from the trash in the landfill and into the groundwater. That pollution can make the water acidic and polluted. The groundwater is connected to lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams that fish and wildlife live in and drink from. We also get our drinking water from groundwater. All that connected water is called a watershed. There are also a lot of nutrients in leachate, like nitrogen and phosphorus, that might cause algae to grow in the water. That algae uses up a lot of oxygen in the water that fish need to breathe. Too much algae makes an unhealthy environment for fish and other aquatic animals. Whether you throw food in the trash can or wash it down your garbage disposal, it eventually ends up in a landfill, where it can be harmful to the environment. You can do your part to protect fish and wildlife by not wasting food. The less food waste, the less leachate. The healthier our water and wild habitats will be. Well, that's the mini landfill. We hope you learned a lot. Just to recap, food waste in landfills produces methane, a greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. Food waste in landfills also produces leachate, which is bad for water quality. Less is best with food waste. Have fun building your own landfills. Don't throw them away because you can turn them into compost bins. Check out our other videos on turning your landfill into a compost bin and reducing food waste through food prep. These videos can be found on the Nature of Teaching website at purdue.edu nature. Bye.